All right, I'm back with another Blu-ray DVD spotlight. As uh, you probably noticed by now, there's really no rhyme or reason to when or what year or any of that stuff. Uh, these things are released that I do these. I just do them just for fun or just just to do something or just to actually spotlight something. So um, today, as you could probably tell by the the poster here, I'm uh, spotlighting the the Arrow. 2018 i can't believe it's 2018 release of last house on the left yes can a movie go too far uh i don't know um this a uh, lot of debate about this movie if if it's uh, if it's uh, correct or right or if it's wrong or if it ever should have been made but you know my opinion is if you like it you like it if you don't you don't don't watch it that's it you know um uh, released originally in 1972. That was three years before my uh, smiling face was, was born. And uh, yeah, this is a really this is probably the nicest box set that I got from Arrow uh, so far. It's got a lot of stuff on there. Um, as you can see, it comes with this nifty poster, and the uh, flip side this is a real nice thick gauge paper too. You flip it over, and you got like this new new artwork. And, uh, yeah, it's really good. Now, uh, let's take a little look inside here. It's a three-disker. And it comes with, um, this awesome, nice little book. All kinds of good stuff in there. Your typical, like, you know, uh, history of the movie and, and all that good stuff. Uh, little, little snippets and, and all that. You know, usually what you get in one of these little thick books that they give you. Um, three discs. Has the uh, uncut version, the original cut version, the, the Krug and Company version. It's got several different uh, little featurettes and some documentaries. I don't know if, if there are uh, some are from some are newer, some are older. Uh, it's got a really cool thing. I guess back in two thousand, uh, they released it in the theater in the UK for the first time with uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and there's some. Really cool stuff in there. Cool interviews with uh, you know David Hess. He's gone, and even Gunnar Hansen uh, was was uh, on there too. So that that was probably the the most fun one. It's got it's got your typical outtakes and all that stuff, and the directors this and that, and you know uh, also comes with one of my favorite selling points, the soundtrack. Mr. Uh, Mr. Hess's uh, music on there, and the road leads to nowhere. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's nice. And of course, you know the biggest selling point to me is not only not only the soundtrack and all the other goods, but holy guacamole, it's got lobby cards, baby. Little little reproduction lobby cards, my favorite. I mentioned that before. Uh, lobby cards were a thing when I was really small and just, just going out, but I think I'm pretty sure that they were probably 8 by 10 maybe even bigger, maybe 11 by 17 I, I'm not really sure, but these are just little postcard size. But yeah, it's, it's got some little fun things in there, little nice little lobby cards from, uh, from way back in the day, you know. So yeah, this is it's this, it's a really it's a really nice set and, and if like I said if if you like it, get it. If you don't like it, you know, don't buy it. So I mean, personally I think uh I spit on your grave is probably a, a heavier more um controversial movie than this. And uh I'm sure I don't know about you, but the the way I found out about it is um probably how I think I'm thinking it's probably a, a pretty good way how people found out about this movie. I didn't obviously didn't see it when I was real young, but um, I saw it after Nightmare on Elm Street, and I'm pretty sure, I think my buddy Will, Cabin of Dr. Howdy's podcast. Cabin of Dr. Howdy, check out his podcast. I think he had the same story I had. It's like you, you're looking in a theater, and you're looking at the at the video store, and you see you know, Wes Craven. You know, oh, Wes Craven, that's, that's like the Freddy, uh, that's Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, right? And I had no idea what the hell this movie was. And, well, it's it's nothing like Nightmare on Elm Street for sure. <laughs> I'm, uh, I probably saw it, uh, you know, probably I'm a, a junior high-ish, something like that. So 
definitely um, a very a very heavy movie, very very serious. But you know, like they throw that that soundtrack stuff in there too. Some of the the, the songs are just so out there on purpose. So uh, I don't know where, where it's at as far as availability, but I just wanted to spotlight it because it's probably one of my I, arrow box favorite arrow box sets. I don't have a whole shit ton of them, but this was really cool. Three discs, soundtrack. Lobby cards, book, poster, nice little little box there. So if you can get it, get it. If you have it, I'm sure you love it. So that's it. That's my spotlight for t for today. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, long live horror and metal. Thank you. <laughs>